John the Baptist was beheaded because of his preaching. Beheaded because of preaching. He was beheaded because for, for Herodias' sake, Herod's uh, brother Philip was, was married to a woman and, John, and, and he wanted her and he coveted her and he ended up marrying her. And we don't know all the details about that, but the Bible teaches us that, you know, if you get divorced and remarried, that you're basically committing adultery. Does anyone believe that here? But Jesus Christ said, except it be for the cause of fornication, that if you, if you put away a woman and you marry another, that you're committing adultery. Right. It's what the Bible says. It's what the Bible teaches. And yeah, I know, today it's offensive. It was offensive back then too, and in fact, John the Baptist was beheaded for it. Herod didn't like that. But you know what? He didn't, he didn't hold back and say, well, I mean, Herod's done this. I, I better not say anything about it because I might get in trouble. That's not, what, what did you go out in the wilderness for to see? Someone who's just going to lay down and, and not preach the truth? Well, hopefully, you know, when you come here, you're going to hear from a lot of people, a lot of Baptists. Yeah. None of them made John, John, but, you know, we've got, well, there is one. We have, sorry, sorry, Jonathan. I think it's John, Jonathan, right? It's not J-O-H-N, though, so we don't have a John. We've got, we've got Jonathan the Baptist. We've got Aaron the Baptist. Right? We've got Ed the Baptist. We've got Stephen the Baptist. We're going to have Roger the Baptist. Jason. Jason the Baptist. Thank you. I'm like, I know there's one more and my brain's dead. And I'm a Baptist. Amen. And what did you come out here to hear? Hopefully you came out here to hear the Word of God. Hopefully you came out here to hear from people who are not going to back down. Hopefully you came out here to hear from people who are willing to, to preach the Word of God and not just be some reed shaking in the wind. But what happens is people get offended. Look what Jesus said in verse 23. He said, Blessed is he whosoever shall not be offended in me. You ought not to be offended by the word of God. You know, fundamental Baptist preaching is often referred to as hellfire damnation preaching. Right? You know what I say? Amen. Yeah. Amen. You say, why do you rip on say why why do you always gotta be harping on say why do you gotta be yelling and screaming? Why? Because the Word of God is important and because, you know, people, all of us, me included, need to sit down sometimes and just hear the Word of God thundered forth and just be told, hey, thus saith the Lord. Amen. And someone, you know, we all need to be set straight from time to time. And you're going to need someone who's not going to beat around the bush, who's not going to be kind of blown around in the wind. And you're going, well, what is he really saying? I don't know. It just sounds like everything's kind of okay. You need someone who's just going to take the Word of God and say, look, this is what the Bible says. Adultery is a sin. Remarriage from, from divorce is a sin. You know, all these various things are sins, and, and you ought not to do them. 